on to vitamins. Um, <coughs> most of this vitamin stuff you can read about, so I'm not going to go into a lot of details here. Why are we talking about vitamins in a, section, in a chapter on enzymes? Because vitamins are often coenzymes. They are those substances that are needed in addition to the enzyme for it to function. So how do we define a vitamin? A vitamin is an organic compound, essential in small amounts for the proper functioning of the body. And generally these have to be obtained from dietary sources because your body can't synthesize it. So you know, what's the difference between a vitamin and um, a fat? Well, your body needs fats, but perhaps the fats we're talking about are ones that your body can make. Or they're ones that you need, like the essential fatty acids, that you need to ingest, but you need them in larger amounts that you need vitamins. So they've, they've tailored this definition of vitamin so that it just fits uh, certain, certain things. They're needed in um, microgram to milligram quantities per day, so that's a lot smaller than like the amount of carbohydrates that you need. They can generally obtain from, be obtained from a well-balanced diet. Um, this is one of my uh, little pet, it's not really a pet peeve, but I guess maybe I get up on a soapbox sometimes. Synthetic vitamins are identical to natural vitamins. I mean, ascorbic acid is ascorbic acid whether it comes from rose hips or it's made in a chemical lab. The vitamins themselves are exactly the same. So you don't have to pay a lot of extra money to get a vitamin from a natural source. Now that being said, sometimes in the natural vitamin, depending on how it's isolated and purified, there may be trace amounts of other things. Those things could be bad, they could be good. And so the synthetic vitamin is not going to have some of those other compounds that may come along with the vitamin. And so you can't just, I don't think you can just make a blanket statement that it doesn't matter at all. It matters sometimes. But what's important to understand is that the vitamin itself is the same regardless of where it came from. Um, there are 13 known vitamins. Um, we are unlikely to discover any more because it's been quite a long time since the last one was discovered. Nine of them are water-soluble, four of them are fat-soluble. Um, these kind of, this table here kind of just gives us an overview of what sort of things the vitamins do. These are the, the water-soluble vitamins and the fat-soluble vitamins, and so you can see that they function in many different areas.